All right, Zoom. You want to you wanna take this one, man? Sure, I'll take it. I'll take the ball, coach. Put me in, coach. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Acer Team Story Cup action here. It is currently two games for Mouse Sports. Three games for Axiom Esports. And in the lower right-hand corner of the map, he is from Axiom Esports, the blue Protoss player, the captain of the team. Ladies and gentlemen, Crank. Crank! Axiom fighting! And his opponent in the lower left, bringing it back for Mouse. The current contender in this series, it is the Red Zerg Vortex. And I think Frost is a really good map for him, and I think Frost is a... Well, Frost, first off, is a great map for 3 hatch before a pool. And Vortex is someone who could certainly take advantage of that, but... Playing against someone like Crank, you always have to be worried. You, if, if you don't scout what's coming, sometimes that 3 hatch before a pool can some, suddenly find, Oh, hey, he went for a 4 gate? What? So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Crank is someone who might not be known as a cheesy player, but... He could, he could do cheese if he needs to. He could do macro if he needs to. This is a guy who's a jack of all trades, Doom. He's very sneaky. Very sneaky. But, as I mentioned, he's the captain. So he's going to have some pressure on him here. And, you know, that, that, that pressure can either do one of two things. It get you psyched up, get you in the zone, get you completely focused on the task at hand, or it can make you nervous. You can start getting those heart pangs, start getting a little, little sweaty in the palms, start getting a little nervous, and... You know, this is a critical situation for Axiom. They take this next game that they're going to force Mouse to use their wild card player, and they're going to be on their last leg from there. That'll still give Axiom three more opportunities to take one single game. So, you know, although it isn't the most, the utmost pressure in the world, there's still a lot rotting on this situation here. And Crank would just like to take the easy road out, especially considering Crank. their situation overall in ATC. Crank is putting a bit of a funky forge down. This is going to get scouted. Vortex isn't going to be too worried because, unlike my greedy predictions, he did go pool first. Now, kind of interesting because at least I would have expected hatch first on a map like this, but... Again, going to play it safe. Make sure nothing happens. Even with that forge down, Lings will be out. They'll kill pylons before cannons are even an issue. Vortex is in the know. She said so. We didn't see that three hats before pool style here, of course. But we have the you know, early vortex. third hatch. Yep. There we go. It's going to come down. I like they turns one of the links around, too, to make sure that he's on top of the bro. Make sure there's no sneaky stuff goes down. He already saw the forge before the Nexus inside the main. So, of course, want to be very careful with that. Cannon going to drive the Overlord away. <laughs> Just be very careful. So it takes a couple hits, but we'll certainly not go down. These uh, links are going to chase the probe out of the middle field. I like the way that Vortex is sending this one overlord. You know, in the event that a probe was trying to sneak around to that third base area from the northern spot, he would be seeing it right now. He's also going to see the watchtower, see if, uh, you know, Cranks has a spot on that too. And, you know, in terms of overall vision here, Vortex is looking pretty good with what he's seen and what he will see from going on. That Zergen's in a good position outside the cannon. You know, knows the Cyber and Escort isn't completely finished, so he's got a good idea and a good sense of timing. Uh, for Crank, but how do you feel about those buildings being placed on the outside like that, Rifkin? Uh, well, you know how I feel about the Cyber Core. I don't really like <laughs> it on the front lines. We've been over this a million times in the past, but the nice thing for Crank is the way the map is set up, there's a lot of chokes that lead into this before you even have to worry about it, and if you get to that, like, you know, 12-minute time where you've got sentries on available, you're not going to worry about the Cyber Core going down, because you've been fighting at these ramps or these other chokes, but Crank moving out to put a pylon down. Will it get scaled up with the Overlord here? I think it'll be just out of vision. Yeah, the probe will not get seen. I think the Ling might have seen it. Maybe. I, maybe. I don't know. If it did, it was only for a second, because you look at its vision, and it's just barely touching the bottom half there, but yeah. this Overlord will certainly see the probe. Vortex should probably, I imagine, send something to deal with this. He can't afford to let a probe go. <laughs> I'm, like, just... You just don't let a probe yeah. go, period. <laughs> bottom line. No. It doesn't happen. Uh, but good control from Crank with that probe. Actually, going to be forcing this Ling out here, too, so we will see the first blood of the game coming from Crank. Stalker gonna come out to try and protect this probe. This might actually allow him to start getting some some things down. And Vortex has to be a little bit worried about this because it's not about knowing that the pylon is there, but it's about not knowing where the pylon possibly could be. You know, you don't want to be caught off guard by a seven zealot warping at your third when you think you've secured it. And of course, this third base on this map very exposed can be hit from the north, can be hit from the south, uh, from the east rather, not the south. Sorry. Well, I guess you could technically hit it from the south. But the one thing about this map, let's not forget, guys. Frost has a lot of these sort of backdoor 
so like side paths along the outskirts of the map. So it's very easy to, for a Protoss player to kind of sneak around with, you know, any amount of, whether it's a pylon proxy or just your army, you can get around this map very easily unseen. Yeah, and speaking of being unseen, uh, Vortex did not see the additional three gateways in the natural here for Crank with this crazy Sim City is going. He did see the speck of one of the gateways in the back of the base, but he can again only assume uh, that there's only two gates out right now. We can only assume how many are additional to that, but it is going to be in total eight gates for Crank. So this is going to be an all-in Rifkin. Absolutely. It's just a matter of time or when it moves across the field, but additionally, but additionally he's added in oh, a war prism too. Doom, this is like a, this is, oh, I love this style of all-in. So I thought this was going to be a march across the field with some of the immortals all-in. He's going to drop in the main. He's going to force field the ramp and he's going to warp in like crazy on top of this to try and knock everything in the main oh. down. And this is where the layers come in. This is where the roach warrants come in. If Vortex doesn't have units already on the high ground, then he just straight up loses everything. But he's got Ling's already repositioning. Yep. Crank's going to need to bait him out of here, but oh my god, wow. that war been eight zealots coming in immediately. Dedication. Metabolic boost is not quite done yet, so we can't even really engage on top of this. And of course, the sentries. Out. Oh, and there's the good force field there from the Crank. Only going to be able to reinforce from the main here. And this is zealots the meat grinder of yeah. zealots on top of zerglings. It's a slaughterhouse. They just run into their death. Time warp goes down to try and catch these queens off. Force field could come down. No, oh not going gosh. to. But with the ramp open, the roaches coming out from the main are going to be a small amount to contest with. If he, if he force heals off the ramp, there's no reinforcements to deal with whatsoever, but focuses down the roach warrant, so 12 roaches are the last roaches that will be coming out of this, and Vortex has to hold so but many more. Eight well. more zealots. He might be kiting them around, but he's not killing them very fast is the problem. And of course, there's still the sentries and the stalker to deal with. On top of the mothership core, the last queen's about to go down, which means there's going to be no anti-air to deal with war person or the mothership core. And now it's just roaches versus the ground forces. Vortex may have lost the roach horn, but he's held the main for the time being. He's going to hold it really well there. Yeah. And there's no follow-up from Crank back at home. Of course, he's got the two uh, immortals going to be warping in additional units now, but... It he wasn't able to There's warp in sentries back at home that whole time to get more energy, so the force field's going to be very limited as he goes across the field for this next push. Give it 20 drones were killed. He's down to worker supply. He's lacking queens, and his tech is only just now getting back up. Vortex, in this particular situation, would have loved to have gone for a counterattack, but unfortunately, forced to stay at home and just take another hit as it marches Yikes. across the map. 64 units killed from Crank this game. 20 workers killed in addition to that. This is not looking good for Vortex here. Only on a 43 drone infrastructure. And the pressure is coming through. Oh, Crank may have just missed an opportunity for force fields there. Here we go. Uh, well, Roaches are falling, man. They're just taking free damage is the worst part, too. They're not even counterattacking into this. Stuck with the force fields now out of his own third. It's a little protected, ironically enough, from this advance, but... The Roach War now coming out. Roach speed so heavily delayed. Getting on top of the sentries before the force fields go down. Going to be an impossibility. But there's actually no energy left for force fields. Only this time warp. Vortex going to desperately try to hold one more time. But backing up out of this. Pulling the drones a little preemptively. Knows that he can't really fight through this time warp. But Roach is coming from the natural. Roach is coming from the third doom. Will this be enough? It, 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 I don't know if it's going to be enough for Vortex. But Frank just masterful with his control here. Buying time to get oh, additional supply blocks. through. Taking such advantage of those time warps here, the Roaches have no way to engage in those immortals. Oh, GG! Crank takes down the game, brings Axiom up to 4-2 in this Acer Team Story Cup series. This puts Mouse on match point, folks. That's what's really dangerous about this. This isn't just Axiom pulling ahead once again. This is them on match point. If Mouse loses another game, that's it for them. And we already know how important this series is. Yeah. And we already know how <laughs> Mouse Sports went against... Uh, we went against Protoss earlier today, and now we've got Crank, who some would argue is more superior to Alicia in a variety of these Pro Protoss matchups. And Alicia's already on the back burner if Axiom wants to go back to that. So it's going to be a real tough decision. Do you throw Vortex back out there against Crank? Do you switch it up by going back to, say, Lucifron or perhaps even Mana? It's a tough call to make, and Mouse, you know, this is not a situation they want to be in, but it's it's the reality that they're forced to face with. But, guys, if you're a Mouse Sports fan, there's at least 37 of you in chat who have voted for Mouse Sports. You need to be channeling your energy. It's like lending Goku a spiritual energy for the spirit bomb. You need to let whoever comes out next charge up and try and win. But we're going to throw out to some ads, and I can take some breaks to bad analogies while we wait for this next game to start, guys. Derelict Watcher will be back after these ads.